Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey sweetly left the Coachella 2024 music festival together. The couple had just enjoyed an evening together in a vibrant music atmosphere. The two affectionately hugged each other's shoulders and were heading towards the exit after the end of the music festival, Taylor Swift appeared in style as she wore an adorable backwards hat. Meanwhile, Travis Kelsey wears a checkered shirt and a white hat. They look very beautiful when they walk side by side, Jack Antonoff opened with a bang, introducing appearances from Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey while performing with his band Bleachers on Saturday night at Coachella 2024. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey used a black space on her schedule to watch friend and collaborator Jack Antonoff perform with his band Bleachers. Since the party after the Super Bowl victory until now, new fans have once again admired the exciting and sweet moments of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. The two are always together, immersing themselves in the music and giving each other romantic hugs and kisses. Many fans after watching this video left comments saying that the video reminded me of their party at the Super Bowl. Another person said that the couple is always the center of attention at a lively party like this. The next person said, no this isn't a party yet because I haven't seen a glass of wine yet. The PDA filled video and photograph of Swift and Kelsey, who was present in the jam-packed crowd during the concert. Swift has made a stunning comeback to the popular music festival after eight long years, and her fans can't get enough of her. The last time she was here, she rocked a chic bleach blonde hairstyle, which set the internet on fire with Bleachella trend. At first, there were rumors that Taylor Swift would attend the music festival, especially since many of her close friends, such as Lana Del Rey and Jack, were set to perform. However, while Lana was on stage that night, Swift and Kelsey decided to skip the event. Instead, they were spotted holding hands as they left Sushi Park after their date night. The couple had even planned to rent a house in the area during the first weekend of the festival. They want privacy so the Madison Club is perfect for them because not just anyone can stay there. Adding to their statement. They said, they don't want a ton of eyes on them they want to be able to let their guard down and be comfortable. The era's tour singer is on a two-month break from her massive three-plus-hour concert and has been spending most of her time in the Los Angeles area. Swift was seen at the concert with her boyfriend and Kansas City Chiefs player Travis Kelsey, the tight end is getting ready to host his own music event in Kansas City on May 18, Kelsey Jam. By that time, Swift will have released her 11th era album, The Tortured Poets Department, and be back on the road performing in Stockholm, Sweden. Antonov isn't the only Coachella performer in Swift's close circle. The billionaire's opening act in South America. Australia and Singapore, Sabrina Carpenter, performed earlier during the Indio concert series, and Karma, singer Ice Spice performs this evening in the Sahara Tent. Fans loved the sweet moments of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey that quickly began to go viral on social networks. While the couple's sweet moments at the festival are still lingering in the minds of fans, Swift and Kelsey surprised fans when they caught them on a date at Sushi Park Restaurant in Los Angeles. The Grammy winner looked chic in a black top, denim skirt, red bomber jacket, while the Kansas City Chiefs tight end looked dapper in an olive green sweater, pairing it with shorts. The duo both wore sneakers and Taylor completed her look with a tan handbag and her signature red lip. The couple, who made their relationship public in September last year, walked hand in hand and chatted away. The NFL hunk spotted paparazzi cameras and gave them a serious glare, while the love story hitmaker smiled at him during their conversation, this comes after the Super Bowl winning athlete went to Cincinnati for a live episode of his and Jason Kelsey's podcast New Heights. The duo also received an honorary graduation ceremony because they were unable to attend their original one when they were in high school. Two of the world's most beloved brothers, NFL stars Jason and Travis Kelsey were honored with diplomas during a surprise commencement ceremony at the University of Cincinnati on Thursday during a podcast event in New Heights. In the past, Travis earned a degree in interdisciplinary studies. And Jason a bachelor's in marketing. 
However, both opted out of their graduation ceremonies, according to the Cincinnati Inquirer. Parents Donna and Ed Kelsey, beaming with pride, were present at Fifth Third Arena to witness a momentous occasion. University President Dr. Neville Pinto, adorned in full graduation attire, awarded the Kelsey brothers their diplomas. Before snagging his diploma, Travis pre-gamed by sucking down a victory beer. This scored a round of applause from the lively crowd. Dan Horde, the radio persona for the Cincinnati Bengals and the University of Cincinnati, described it aptly as receiving a diploma, Travis Kelsey style. However, not everyone was impressed with Travis Kelsey's on-stage antics. I am all for slinging a brew after getting that degree, but anyone else does that and they are shown the door, one ex-user pointed out. This is very cringe, another added. They are complicit in mocking the value of their own institution and award, another wrote, possibly clutching at the pearls around their neck, another ex-user felt the 34-year-old three-time Super Bowl champion should conduct themselves better. Hey guys, let's make this all about me. It's like a child in an adult body, they wrote. Still, other onlookers felt the anger at the sud sucking was overblown. The only thing funnier than Travis throwing back that beer is the fake outrage from some of y'all in the comments section, an ex-denizen joked. Meanwhile, Jason and Travis Kelsey's New Heights podcast X account shared another familiar situation for the brothers, confetti raining down on them, of course, the University of Cincinnati lavished praise on the brothers for visiting the campus. A surprise commencement we'll never forget, the university posted on X. Congratulations to Travis and Jason on, finally, picking up their diplomas. At the event, Travis displayed his dance skills while recording the podcast. Standing next to his brother on stage, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end was caught moving rhythmically to a marching band version of his girlfriend Taylor Swift's hit, Shake It Off. As many Los Angeles residents cleared out of town for festival weekend, the pop star and NFL player took advantage of the lighter traffic and enjoyed dinner at the celeb-favored restaurant Sushi Park. You might recognize its nondescript strip mall balcony from paparazzi shots of Haley and Justin Bieber, Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny, or even Swift and Selena Gomez, who enjoyed a girls' night at the Omake spot in October, dressed in a black denim miniskirt and Chief's red varsity jacket. The anti-hero singer wore her hair down in loose waves, finishing off the look with her signature red lip. While one arm carried her Gucci purse, Swift used the other to hold hands with Kelsey, who was dressed in a hunter green crew neck and matching shorts. You can see the photos here, it looks like Taylor Swift has made a brief return to her Sunday football style after adopting a softer spring palette as she gears up for the release of her album The Tortured Poets Department. Friday's look bears much more resemblance to the vintage chief sweaters and reputation-coated ensembles she favored this past fall. For their last sushi date at Nobu Malibu, Swift went with a preppier fit, complete with pleated khaki skirt and loafers. Even though the pair opted out of Coachella night one, there's still a good chance they're heading to Indio, California, for today's lineup. I am a Coachella guy, Kelsey told People earlier this month. I love going to Coachella. I love live music in general. So you might see me pop up over there at some point. Unfortunately, skipping Friday's performances meant missing close friend Lana Del Rey's headlining set, as well as a performance by Swift's era's tour opener Sabrina Carpenter. It's unlikely Swift will attend Weekend 2, considering the Tortured Poets Department drops on April 19. However, a surprise cameo during Del Rey's second set would be epic promo.